In the previous chapter, we have set up our BDM's business data model. Now we are going to focus on the interaction between our process and our business data. We're going to talk about contracts. There are two types of contracts we need to specify. There is a case instantiation contract and there are some step contracts. A contract is an interface with a set of input parameters and some validation rules that guarantee for the process execution that we can execute a step or start a process with all the needed data. We are now going to create our first contract. This is going to be the case instantiation contract. To do so, uh, we're going to select our process pool and we're going to go into the execution section and under contracts. Here we have two options to start with. Either we declare the contract attribute by attribute manually with the add button, or we can quick start uh, our contract by going into add from data. This will allow us to create a contract based on our business data. Here we can use our report object to pre-fill some of the contract attributes. What we're going to do here in our contract, we're just going to select a couple of those attributes because we don't expect to know everything from the start. So we're just going to select the summary and the lines. The other attributes will be filled in later. Then I'm going to rename also my contract to simplify a bit the um, manipulation of the data here. I'm just going to call it report contract to simplify. All right, we're done with the contract. I can click on finish and here we see we have initialized our contract elements with our data. Now we'll need to set up some contracts also for our human tasks. So here for review report, we'll need to set up another contract. This is going to be a step contract. What I need to do is to go on the task selected and I'm going to add some attributes to our contract. Here I'm not going to go uh, to create the contract from the business data, I'll just enter the attributes I need uh, by hand. So I will need here a first element on our contract called is approved. This one will be of type boolean. So I'll need to say boolean. I'm not going to provide a description, but I could if I wanted to. I can also a second attribute here comments that provide some inputs from the validation of the um, expense report. We're done for this uh, contract. We're going to move now to the next task called update report and we're going to specify the contract for it. On this task here, I'll go uh, with the shortcut by creating the contract from a business data. So I'll take again my report object and I'll generate uh, a contract from it. I expect to update here the summary and the lines. I don't want to change the other attributes again and I'll also rename it report contract. And we're done. So this is it. Uh, we have the contracts set up for the two human tasks and for the case instantiation. We're now gonna move to the next chapter. The next step is now to initialize our business data using our contracts. I will start with the case start initialization. Here I will take the values from my contract to load the initial data into the expense report object. I'll do that by using the initial value of my business data. So I'll select my report BDM and I will edit it and I will use the default value here. I will name my script init report and this script will be responsible for initializing our data. So we'll First, create an expense report object here using auto completion. You can do so with control space, expense report. So I'll call it a uh, new report. I'll initialize it with blank object. Then I'll set its attributes. So I'll use the different setters that have been generated with all BDM. I'm now going to set the attribute is approved and I'm going to hard code it to false. Then I'll set the summary. For the summary, we'll need the contract. Uh, the contract is provided to us in this script from the um, inputs here. So we have the contract provided as a map because it's a complex object. And we can navigate in this map to get the different elements. Here we can fetch 
the right uh, element for a summary by looking at the attributes that we can also see here at the bottom of the screen. Here we're looking at summary. So I can just get the um, element with the key summary here. This will get our summary. I also need to hard code a couple of other elements here. I will hard code the creation date of the report. I'll just pass a new date. All right, now for the next attribute, the created by, I need to get the process instance ID on which I'm working. So I will use the uh, one of the provided variables, the one called API accessor here, which provides me the entry point for the different Bonita APIs. From this, I'm gonna retrieve the process API, that's an API dealing with process as its name indicates. And from this, I'm gonna retrieve the process instance. Here, I expect to have a process instance ID as a parameter, and luckily for us, we have also this in the provided variables. This call here will get us the current process instance we're in. So I'll need to save that. All right, now we have it. Uh, from the process instance object, we're able to call the started by method, which will return the user who started the process. So I can call my new report set created by and then I can pass the person who created my process instance. I need to complete that. Here. This returns, this method actually returns a uh, user ID, a pointer user ID, and we're going to store that instead of storing the entire username. Okay, so now we, we're, we're good for the um, basic data of the report itself. We now need to focus on the lines of the report. Before going further, we'll need to store the contract lines in a temporary object to simplify a bit the way this works. Uh, there are multiple lines, so this will be a list, and each line is a complex object, so it will be a map. Now, for the key of the map, this will be a string. That's the name of the attributes that you can find here, label or cost. And for the value, the value or difference. For label, it's a string, but for cost, it's a double. So we need a super object uh, to store these values. So this will be our type, a list of map of string object. This we're going to call um, contract lines, because this comes from the contract and we're going to retrieve it from the uh, report object. Getting the attributes lines. All right. Then I will need a temporary collection of uh, my BDM object, the expense uh, report lines. All right, this will help me to store them temporarily. Oops. Now that I have this temporary collection, I can iterate on my contract line with a for statement. So I will copy each individual line that is a map of string object. Taking each lines of the contract individually and transforming the lines uh, of the contract into real business uh, data, BDMs, export support lines. To do that, I will create a new object each time we have a line. I will initialize it here like that. And then I'll use the setter of this, of the BDM object to set the label and the cost. And here I'll take also the attribute um, elements to store my values. So here for the label, I get the label from the contract and I'll do the same with the cost. Set cost, contract line, dot get my cost attributes. There we go. Okay, now we have set up the BDM object. We just need to make sure we add it to the collections of the temporary object. So I'm going to add to my lines object 
the line here we created. Okay. So that's it. Here in this for statement here, we have converted our contract data into BDMs. Now we may need to make sure we inject this new collection of lines here in our report. So I'll just have to call the last element, the last call here, new, new report set lines here with the list of lines we have created. All right, so here with that, we're good with the uh, initialization. We just need to return now the new contract, the new report, sorry. There we go. So we're done, we can close this. And I can save my initialization. So that's it for the case store. We have set up the initial data after the fill report form. Now we'll need to update also our object after the review report. This particular uh, action will be done in the execution and operations. This is what will allow us to store and update our BDM data. So here I'm going to modify my report. I'm going to use an operator called Java method here, and I'll be able to call one of the Java method of my objects. Here I will use the set is approved method, and I will pass to it the value from my contract here is approved. I will do the same thing with the comments. So report again uh, the operation of type Java method, and set approval comments here, and I take my comments from the contract. So we're done uh, with this particular operation. We're going to also set some operations on the update report. And to do that, again, we go into execution operations. And here we have the first one. So here I'll update my report. And I will call the method to get uh, the um, new summary, set summary. Here I'll need to write a small, very small script to retrieve uh, my um, element from my contract. So I have my report contract. I need to get my uh, summary from my contract. That's all I do, I'll return that. And I'll call it get summary. Okay, so this assigns my summary. I also need to add now the new lines, calling uh, Java method set lines. Now, to save some time, I will just copy-paste the bit of code I wrote to retrieve the lines from the contract in the data initialization. So I'll go back to the pool just to do copy-pasting here in the initial data. That's the script I previously wrote. And uh, I'll just take the part with the lines here. Just save a bit of time. I'm copy-pasting this. And I'll use it in my operations here in my new script to set the lines. So here I'll use a script and I'll just dump this extract here. I just need to fix the uh, imports here and I'm going to call it uh, update lines. Now what this code does again is gets the uh, lines from the contract, report contract get lines. Uh, the contract, of course, is not the same. In this case, it's the one from the task, but we have used the same names here, so it will work. Uh, we get the lines and we convert them into expense report lines in the BDM uh, syntax. Now, the last thing we need to do is just to return the uh, lines in the end. This is written as a list and this will be used to update my BDM lines attributes. We're almost done with the data handling. We need to do one last thing before uh, concluding this work on the backhand side. Uh, we'll need to fix uh, our gateway here, which is complaining actually because we are missing condition on the uh, outgoing transitions. To fix that, we'll select the transition here and we will write a condition on it. The condition is going to be fairly simple. We're going to take our uh, report object here and we're going to use the isApproved method to control the flow to go to the end of the process if the report is approved. If the report is not approved, this will be a uh, default flow, so the other condition. Now, now that we have fixed this, we can revalidate the diagram by going into validation status and doing a refresh. This will remove the error. Uh, notice that here we have a couple of warnings here now. We are uh, missing some forms. This will be the subject of our next chapter.